Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Today we're gonna talk about how to copy or backup your profile, and the reason why we need to do that because sometimes the mod doesn't work after an update, or uh, you simply just simply just want to back up your profile just in case if anything goes wrong. And uh, also, you, if you like to tweak things and see if it works, and you don't want to mess with your main profile, this is why we use them for. So, um, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to use it. Just before we get started, we would need to go inside the game ETS2 or ATS. It works for both games. You need to go and make sure you uncheck that backing up to Steam Cloud. Okay. So what we're going to do is we come in now to the game. We go to check. That's the main profile that we're going to use. So we go to the edit profile and then we make sure that the box is unchecked use steam cloud make sure that's unchecked and you hit apply and um, that's it because you cannot use a profile that's um, been synchronized to steam cloud make sure you uncheck that box and for people that are having trouble identifying which uh, profile it was simply go into the game and save your game again so when you come back through the profile, when we look at the files, you will have the most up-to-date modified date that you can use. So it's easier for you to tell. And now we can leave the game and get on with it. So at first, let's just get the uh, files that we need. You need the SII decrypt, C decrypt. When you search it up in Google, you'll come up and you will see the first one, download C decryptor by, uh, from Sharemon and you can just go in there, download this file because we we need to use this to decrypt our profile okay and then we come to this page that will, it will turn your names into code and um, just keep it open this is the URL on top uh, but for both I'll put a link in the description below and now we come to the uh, profile where we store our profile it's your ATS folder or ETS it's uh, together with the mods folder just go into profile folder and then find the latest modified date copy the folder and paste it back in so you get the copy file and then this is the folder that you're going to use mine's already in there but we go in there we put the C decrypt inside the folder and what you do is you put the profile over C decrypt and then this is your profile information. You, you can see you sky all your mods. It will contain all your button setups. Just scroll all the way down till you see your profile name that's underneath. Okay, there is your profile name there. And just rename the profile name to something that you desire. Okay, this is gonna be the name of the profile. Then what you wanna do is, is to copy the name because we're gonna use it later. And then you save this file document so it's under the new name and then you can turn it off we don't need it anymore now here we add, add the page we just paste the actual profile name in the profile name that we desire we get a string of numbers and this is the numbers that's going to replace your profile folder so we copy the number and we head back to the profile that we copied and we just replace the name to that string of number so and that becomes our new profile name it will show up in the game now we're back in the game we go to the profile selection and there we are right at the bottom that's the profile that we copied or duplicated it's as simple as that it will contain the list of your mods and um, all your button setups all the preferences all the good stuff so i hope that this video do help you well because it's still one of the common questions that i see all the time and um, I hope you guys do like this video. I hope it's a help. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.